Okay, so let's continue on that problem. Again, we were dealing with a soda machine where the mean was 11.5, the standard deviation was 0 0.2. The third part of the problem says if a cup is filled at random, what is the probability that the machine will overflow the cup? Okay, so what does that mean? Overflow the cup. Well, overflow the cup, that would be above the cup's capacity, and the cup's capacity is 12 ounces. So what they're asking for is how many would be above 12 ounces? How many times would it be above 12 ounces? What's the percentage? So the first thing again is we want to find that z-score. So what do we do for a z-score of 12 ounces? Well, you do the data, 12 ounces, minus the mean, which was 11.5. You divide that by the standard deviation, which was 0 0.2, and that's going to give us our z-score for 12, for 12 ounces. I'm getting a z-score of positive 2.5. So what do I notice? I notice I'm one above, and I also have a positive z-score. Above and a positive z-score. So take a moment, go to page 10, the previous page, and look at which formula we're going to use. What are you going to use when you have above and you have a positive z-score? formula that I saw is going to be 0 0.5 minus that chart value. 0 0.5 minus that chart value. So let's look at that chart value. If I have a z-score of 2.5, what is that chart value? Well, the chart value that I'm seeing, again, the chart's on page 8, is 0 0.494, 0 0.494, or 49.4% of it. Um, so what do I do? So this tells me that I'm going to do 0 0.5 minus the 0 0.494, which is 0 0.006, and it says what is the probability? Because it wants the probability, it wants the decimal version, not the actual number. It wants the decimal version, not the actual number. So what is the probability that the cup overflows? It's 0 0.006. Very, very low. All right, let's go ahead and look at this last example, see if we can figure this one out together. It says a study shows that lengths of careers of professional football players are nearly normally distributed with a mean of 6.1 years and a standard deviation of 1.8 years. What percent of professional football players have a career more than nine years? Okay, so again, this does not say use the empirical rule. This is not nice values, but let's figure this out. So more than nine years, so they're saying above nine years. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find out that z-score of nine years. To find out the z-scores, we do the data, which is nine, minus the mean. Read the problem. The mean is 6.1 years, divided by the standard deviation, which is 1.8 years. Do that in your calculator now. So I'm doing 9 minus 6.1 divided by 1.8. I'm getting a z-score of 1.61. So let's think about this. This is positive. It's a positive z-score and, and I want above. So if I want above and I have a positive z-score, go ahead and look at what I need to do to figure it out. And that was written on page 10, I believe, is where everything was written. So look at what formula I'm going to do. You end up doing 0 0.5 minus the chart value. 0 0.5 minus the chart value. So let's look at this. What happens when I have a z-score of 1.61? Look at the chart on page 8. Figure out what that value is. I'm getting 0 0.446. Please double check that. Now that I have a, a z-score of 0 0.446, what do I do to find the amount above, given that my z-score was positive? I'm going to do 0 0.5 minus that 0 0.446. When I do 0 0.5 minus 0 0.446, I'm getting 0 0.054. But it wants the percentage. Because it wants a percentage, I'm going to multiply it times 100 or move the decimal to the right to. I'm getting 5.4%. So only 5.4% of NFL players can actually play or play longer than nine years. Again, this is an approximation because it's nearly normally distributed, but that's an approximation. Uh, these are real numbers. This is real data. Um, so that is, is, is for real. Only about 5% of football players or five out of every hundred football players make a career that lasts nine years or more. 
Okay, it says if a professional football player is chosen at random, what is the probability that they will have a, a career between three and four years? So we want between here. We need to calculate two separate z-scores. We need to determine are those z-scores the same sign or are those z-scores opposite signs? Let's just give it a go and figure it out here. So let's find out what's a z-score when I have three years. If I find the z-score for three years, I'm going to do the data, which was three, minus the mean, which was 6.1 years, divided by the standard deviation, which was 1.8 years. So data minus mean divided by standard deviation. See what you get on this one? I'm getting a value of negative 1.72. Now let's find the z-score of four years. Data, four, minus the mean, 6.1, Divided by the standard deviation, 1.8. 4 minus 6.1 over 1.8. What are you getting? I'm getting negative 1.17. Negative 1.17. So there's my z-scores. I want you to notice that they're the same sign. So if I have between, and they are the same sign, go to the formulas that you need to do, and it tells me that I'm going to subtract chart values. It tells me to subtract the chart values. So let's go ahead and find those chart values. What happens when I have a z-score of negative 1.72? Again, it's symmetric, so that's the same as positive 1.72. And what happens when I have a z-score of 1.17? Go ahead and find those areas for me now using the chart on page 8. Let's see if you're getting the same numbers as I am. I got 0 0.457 for the first one, and I got 0 0.379 for the second one. Please double check those values for me. And then again, what are we going to do? Because they are the same sign, we need to subtract these two values. So I'll do 0 0.457 minus 0 0.379. Doing that, I'm ending up with 0 .0, 0 0.078. And it says probability. If it wants the probability, it wants the decimal version, not the percentage version. So the probability that they're between three and four years would be 0 0.078. If they wanted it as a percentage, that'd be 7.8%. So I hope that helps you use those formulas that I provided for you. Make sure you print out that chart and bring that chart with you when you take that exam. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you much.